Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to just let you know that I put my daughter down for a nap a little while ago, so I'm probably going to be whispering throughout this video and being mindful of how loud I'm being. Today I thought we could just chill and work on the next installment of my ancestral grimoire. As we previously discussed in the last video, we are doing May, which is the moon magic theme. So I went ahead and prepared all of my materials already. I just have this manifesting with the moon little cutout here. I just uh, found information online on the moon phases and how you can use them. And I just picked one that I liked, printed it out and cut it out. As you can see, I went ahead and already did my tarot pulls using the information from the Ancestral Grimoire book. So basically I'm just here to journal. So I'm using the Soul Cats tarot deck, which ended up being really perfect for this month's moon magic theme. And I actually pulled the Queen of Cups as my moon magician, which I think is just so fitting. So I thought, why don't we go ahead and glue the manifesting with the moon page down first. And then the next page, I'm thinking of gluing down my Queen of Cups, the Moon Magician pole, which is the Queen of Cups, down. Um, and I was thinking of just using this. I think like that. And then I'll just write about the Moon Magician. I'm just trying to get it as straight as I can, which is, doesn't always go well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the sides so that the craft paper is about the same size as this journal paper. We are back, so I was thinking of just gluing this like that. I'll try to straighten this out a bit.
All right, so you're probably gonna see me go on my phone a bit. So right now I'm just gonna review my notes from when I pulled tarot cards. All right, so the ancestral grimoire calls the ancestor who comes forward to help you understand how to work with the moon phases. She calls this person the moon magician. So I am going to, I think, write moon magician somewhere up here. And then I'll just put maybe this in the center. Put the queen of cups and then I'll just put down the information that I was able to figure out about this ancestor of mine. Okay, so the Moon Magician, according to my notes, is most likely a female, is from my mom's side of the family. So most likely Celtic was a possible grandmother. So it's either, I was thinking it was either my grandmother or possibly my great grandmother. Okay, so I just put Queen of Cups slash Cancer because Cancer rules over the Queen of Cups. So now I'm going to start listing off the information that I found about her. Okay, next, oh, it's stuck, was I was just going to start to put down my actual um, pulls, so my spreads. So, what does she have here? So it's a three card spread that she recommends that you do. Um, I'm talking about uh, Nancy Hendrickson, by the way, uh, the writer of the Ancestral Grimoire. So some of these cards actually mention moon phases. I think it was the Two of Swords. And there's also a full moon in the back, like in the background of the picture, which is actually the first thing I noticed when I drew the card. And that's why I felt like this ancestor was saying that the full moon was very important to her magical practice or her spiritual practice. The Eight of Cups, I was really drawn to the water. So I was thinking that the message might be something about scrying or using the water in some shape, in some way, shape or form.
right, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here and I will see you in the next one.